Thank you very much for having me today. I'm, I feel so blessed and so inspired to be here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, the Director General of ICRO, Maruna Francesca Maria Gujral, and I feel so proud of this project. We are supporting the entire continent. As you know, Africa is the youthful continent on the globe. So I really believe in the power of youth. As I said, you are the, the agent of change. You are the accelerators of all the uh, you know, economic and social and environmental drivers. And as I said, you possess your own trajectory of change, but we are here to support you. So I strongly believe in this very project to grow in Kenya but also to be an inspiration for other countries in, in the continent as, and even more to share knowledge and transfer uh, skills and knowledge even globally thanks to this uh, great incubator of, uh, of innovators and change makers. I strongly believe that our, our heritage is an immense source of course of identity and so, uh, social cohesion and also being proud of. So we all us are proud of where we come from and is a sense of identity. But I, at the same time, we can use the traditional knowledge, the local practices to be an instrument for our future. And again, as I said, a source of uh, economic growth and a brighter future for, for prosperity. I strongly believe in that. We work very much also on aspects of climate change, adaptation and mitigation. So cultural heritage can also offer, of course, culture both built and, uh, and natural heritage uh, do really pay a lot of effects from climate change. So erosion also affects uh, the heritage. So of course we need to first preserve and conserve it well in order that it does not get destroyed by natural disaster. But at the same time, heritage is also a solution for, uh, for climate uh, change adaptation strategies. And uh, for instance, here in Kenya, you use uh, mangroves to create a natural barrier to the seaside level when the, the sea level rise. So instead of having invasive infrastructure, for instance, the, the heritage uh, brings a solution also to, in face of this uh, important uh, climate change issue. My name is Edwin Aboni. I'm the chairman of National Museums of Kenya. Um, I'll start by thanking Maruna here for Mikram, who are kind of uh, supporting our program. Whatever we're doing here falls within the mandates of the National Museums of Kenya. And we are very excited to be involved with the youth. You all know, I need, I need not say that uh, youth is now the component, the biggest component of our population is the youth at the moment. And we need to engage them in heritage. Uh, it's been a little bit ignored, you all know that. It's not been uh, taken up a lot. We've not embraced heritage and we've not passed it down to the youth. So that's what we're doing here and we've been able to create for them a hub and we are going to increase it. It's going to be also in Mombasa. Aruna will be going to Mombasa tomorrow. Together with our director here, she's doing a wonderful job of uh, bringing up uh, the youth and this hub. Of course, together with the director of Swahili, uh, Swahili Village. So we are really, really impressed. You know the youth, you can see the vibrancy. They are very vibrant. They are very intelligent. They have the, the know-how, that energy. We are getting into that. We are tapping into that so that we can bring it out and uh, use them. Because we don't want to drive ideas for them. So we want them to, to come up with their own ideas, um, innovate and then create. So mostly what we are doing is holding uh, sittings with them and workshops with them to listen to them and to know what they want, what direction they want to go in the future in terms of 
what kind of heritage they want brought on board, what programs they want brought on board, what activities they want brought on board, whom also they want brought on board. You, you give them an open mind, but um, you also instill with them the, the factor of heritage and traditions. So if somebody wants to run off with something which is traditional, like for example in fashion, if you want to create maybe a dress or something out of the traditional dress or the traditions that you've seen your mothers or your sisters or your brothers grow up with, then you create whatever you want to create. It's uh, empowerment in totality. When we talk about resources, we talk about resources in human capacity, uh, finances of course, the tools that they need, the spaces that they need, and also the technical support in terms of the skills that they need brought on board in terms of trade. At the moment, we are, tar we are dealing with the four counties, but in the future we want to target the whole 47 counties, and we are talking to our partners in the counties, because you know culture is devoked. So they also have to come on board and also be part of the movement. So we are already talking with the counties, and we've seen a few of them being positive. So we want the 47 counties to come on board. Yeah, my name is Mahmoud from Swahili Port Hub. Uh, one of the things that we are doing, and, and it's something that the young people are bringing, yeah, the young people are actually have the creativity, they have the modern part, but we're also reminding them that they can do what we call modern heritage. So how can you infuse what you know you have now, but you connect it with the heritage that we, we hold? For example, if you, you look at the sites and monuments in, in the coast, like Fort Jesus, uh, Jubalamfana. Uh, young people love Instagram. How do we make it sexy? And it is for the young people who will uh, make these heritage uh, spaces look uh, attractive to them. So for us is to give them the heritage uh, part by giving them, uh, bringing technical, uh, giving them the technical uh, knowledge uh, and then we do not want to change them or take them a hundred years ago. But how can they fuse modernity, but also they remember that they have their own culture and heritage to sell. And I know once young people embrace it, because Kenya is very youthful, with 75% being below, below 35 years, then it is easy to sell heritage if the young people embrace it. And that is one of the things that Swahili Port we are bringing on board. A strong areas is actually the, the use of social media. Uh, creating content for TikTok, for Instagram, but we, we tell them, can you infuse your culture? Rather than trying to sell things that anybody will see from New York, from London, we need to know that when you are creating this content, I can actually say this is from Turkana, this is from Kenya, because you have infused the local culture in it.